Hello everyone, this is Amir from simpletech.ca and this is the first video in the series for introduction to Excel. So this is going to be a really bare bone Excel introduction. There is nothing uh, for people who already used Excel before. Uh, this is for people who have never used Excel. So let's get started. Um, to start Excel, you should have a shortcut on your computer that should say Microsoft Office Excel or you can go to start on the left hand corner on your desktop programs Microsoft Office and then look for the word Microsoft Office Excel um, so once you open it you should see this screen let's look at some of the parts of it right on the top you have the option where it says Microsoft Excel book one that is the title bar right after that you have the menu bar because you have all the other menus things that you can do with an Excel like in this case there is the option to open save print the same way you have the toolbars right on the top that is known as the standard toolbar where you can also see options to print and right below it this guy is known as the formatting toolbar which is associated with formatting things so if you use Microsoft Word you know you can change the style of a font you can change the size you can make things bold you can center them and there are some more options more appropriate to Excel that we'll be looking at right after that where it says D1 right now that is known as the name box the reason why it's called the name box is because if you see my cell I've clicked in cell D1. So if I come and click on cell A1, the name box will say A1. And we'll look at the function of it a little bit more later. And this up here is known as the formula bar. Whatever information you type in any of the cells, that will show up in the formula bar. And I'll talk about a little bit more why it's called a formula bar. Right now, it might be a little bit confusing, but it will get more clear. Now the reason why Excel is so popular is because of the use of cells. Each and every element in this is a cell. So like when I click here, that is cell A4 if you look at the name box because it's in column A and row 4. So the same way, each and every cell has a position. If I click up here, now that is column B row 2 so it's B2 so when you're doing a uh, calculation in Excel that's what it is used for to do calculations you can just say do A1 multiply by B1 so it will just go and look at the cell and then multiply whatever numbers you have in there and you can go up and down like this button up here you can go down you can go all the way up to 65,536 some rows and you can also go across so at any time you find that you don't see your A column or you don't see row 1 just make sure you come back up and also you come back on the left hand side Excel also has multiple sheets like on the bottom you see sheet 2, sheet 3 and there is sheet 1 and you can have as many sheets you want so it's like you know if you're having a whole year you can have a sheet for January, February, March, April and so on so let's get going with entering information. Whenever you want to enter something, you just click on a cell and you go ahead and enter. So if I want to enter something in A1, I just take my mouse and I click on it. And you see there is a dark border around it. Now I can just go ahead and type. So I can type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now at this point, I can press the Enter key on the keyboard or I can hit the check mark right here, which is same as hitting Enter. In a way, we are saying, I am finished entering, except what I've entered. And you always want to do that, because if you haven't pressed enter, you might press something else and enter something else in that cell. So that is entering. Start entering, and press the enter or the check mark. Let's look at editing. If you want to edit something in Excel, you can do it three ways. You can either take your mouse and you double click on it, when you double click you'll find that there is a line a cursor blinking in there now if I want to get rid of number 3 I can just move the arrow on the keyboard and then hit backspace now 3 is gone and I can hit the check mark 
the other way to edit it is if I take my mouse and you see the formula bar the formula bar shows me one two four five six seven which is exactly what is in a1 so you have to make sure you have clicked in a1 now I can take my mouse and I can click in the formula bar now if I wanted to add the number three again I can just go across and add the three press enter or I can hit the check mark so I've added editing the third way of editing is make sure you are in the cell A1 or whichever cell you want to edit and then you press the F2 key on the keyboard it is this key is on the top row it's the topmost row on the keyboard you press F2 and you find that it's in the editing mode and you will see that there is that line blinking in there and again you can hit the check mark so that is editing now let's look at uh, why Excel is so popular. So if I want to get remove that information from that A A1 cell, I can just hit the delete key on the keyboard and that cell has been cleared up. Now I'm just going to enter a few things on the cell A1, B1, C1 and D1. So I'm going to start with A1 and I'm going to press 2. I can hit the tab key on the keyboard to go to the next column. 3 4 and one I just made up the numbers doesn't matter because I just want to show you why Excel is so popular so right now I'm going to show you how Excel does calculations at any time you want to do any calculation you have to start the equal to sign now I can just take my mouse and I can click on the cell a1 and now you see it says a1 in there now I'm going to put a plus sign because I want to add all of these numbers together then I click on the cell B1, I put a plus sign, click on the cell C1, I put a plus sign, and I click on the cell D1. So it says equal to A1 plus B1 plus C1 plus D1, and I hit the check mark. So now you see when I hit the check mark, it automatically does the calculation that tells me the total is 10. And now if you look at the formula bar, you find that when it says 10 in there, it actually shows you that right behind that 10 is that formula. So now if I go and make any changes, so for example, if I go to cell B1 and I go ahead and type 20, my E1, my total, now is 27 because all this cell is doing is, is equal to adding all the cells together. So it doesn't matter what information you put in there because all it will do is keep on adding A1 plus B1 plus C1 plus D1 and you can do any calculations I can go to E2 and I can do equal to B1 multiply by that's the sign for multiplication the asterisk by C1 and I can hit the check mark so it does 20 times 4 is 80 and you can continue to do any calculations you want on any of the cells. I can click here and I can do equal to A1 minus D1. Hit the check mark. I can click here and I can do equal to B1 divided by, that's the sign for divi division, the forward slash by C1. and you can do the calculations anywhere you want and till the time you use the right cell reference because on this sheet there is only one A1 there is only one B1 there is only one C1 so this is the basics in Excel that is entering editing and how to do calculations thank you for watching watch out for my next video in which I'll get continue with this and talk about a little bit more detail